Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Paula from Paula's DIY Decor and I'm the crafter from Down Under. Today I'm super excited to share with you how I made this gorgeous fall wood round side. Now you're going to need some black and white paint, a wooden round, some ribbon of your choice and some florals. To get started, I wanted to split my wooden round into three different colours, black, white and the natural colour. I wanted the natural colour of the wood round to be in the centre, black at the bottom and white at the top. So I used some blue painters tape to help me edge off and um, sort of measure for me the length that I wanted to paint each colour. So you can see here that I'm starting with my black paint. I kind of um, you use the blue painters tape to give me a nice clean edge at the bottom it's about an inch from the bottom of the round uh, and this I think is a 13 inch round that I picked up from a local discount store called Kmart in Australia it's actually a wooden placemat uh, they call it a wooden round placemat but I'm using it as a wooden round sign now I use the blue painters tape to give me about an inch from the bottom and it, it'll, you'll see in a moment it'll give you a really nice clean uh, finish a clean edge uh, once you finish painting and then I used my white paint you can use acrylic paint or chalk paint I'm just using some regular house paint that I had in my stash and again using the blue painters tape to allow you to section off which part of the wooden round you want a different color i then went ahead and painted about probably four inches from the top i made that part of the wooden round white then i used my heat tool to just quickly accelerate the drying process um, so that i didn't have to leave it overnight but if you do have the time leave it overnight it is easy and then once you peel off the blue painters tape you'll see that you've got a beautiful clean white section at the top and black section at the bottom now I wanted to create a welcome home sign so I used my Cricut and uh, just uh, used some of my vinyl and uh, printed out this gorgeous welcome sign now using the um, the vinyl and of course the um, what do you call the plastic film to help you transfer the transfer tape to help you transfer it across to the wooden round I just printed off welcome home using some of this vinyl but you can uh, you can use a marker you can use some paint and create any sign you like for this wooden round then what I had was some beautiful black and white ribbon you can see here and I used some double sided tape to just create a little bit more interest on the wooden round and my double sided tape was a little bit wide so I just cut it in half and then I laid down the double sided tape along the edge of the black strip and the white strip and I just popped my ribbon over the top. To use ribbon in my DIY projects because I think ribbon can really add some dimension to your projects. You've got multiple colors on ribbons, you've got different textures, different colors, different shine and I just think it really makes your DIYs pop and in this instance this particular black and white design really brought the entire project together and I thought it looked really really pretty and elegant. So once I lay down the ribbon onto the round, you'll see there that the entire project is starting to come together. It's nice and cohesive. If you're liking this video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so that you can be alerted every time I upload a video. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I'm really glad to see you here. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. To all my subscribers, I really appreciate the lovely comments that you leave me. They really uh, spur me on and uh, keep me motivated. So now you can see me cutting down some florals. Now I got these florals from my stash 
Bush. Unfortunately, this week we are still in lockdown here in Australia, so I'm really challenging myself to use what I've got in my stash to create these beautiful DIYs. So with these uh, florals, I had some cream florals. They're like, um, I think they're roses, cream roses. I used some uh, sort of burnt orange gerberas and I cut down the leaves of these florals to, um, to put down individually on top of the round and create the base of my floral arrangement. I was inspired by Heidi Sombel who was um, making a floral arrangement recently and she, she was talking about taking your time and don't be afraid to pull apart your, uh, your florals so that you can get them just where you want to be and uh, take your time and glue them down. They don't always have to be put into your DIYs and one, as one piece. So I'm giving that a go and it seems to be working really well. So what you can see me doing now next is uh, starting to create my bow. I thought I wanted a three, a three, uh, three um, loop bow, but I decided that I wanted two loops for three different ribbons that I was using. I had some uh, burlap ribbon in my stash, and then I had some leftover black and white ribbon that I used in a previous project. And I also had some beautiful lace ribbon, just to give it a little bit more of that uh, rustic sort of um, farmhouse feel. Now I made uh, two loops for each uh, bow. Now the contraption that you see me using is my homemade attempt at creating a bow maker. I don't have one, so I just kind of made one using two wooden dowels and I just inserted them into some very long inserts of some old Christmas ribbon um, inserts. So, uh, and it works really well. And the little pink thing is simply a, um, what is that, clothes peg, um, but it works really well. So after I've started to create the loops for my bow, I was going to stop there with the lace at the top, but I thought I needed just another couple of loops of burlap ribbon and I was really, really happy with it. A little trick that I learned in creating bows is that when you're making the loop and then you are uh, folding it over to create your second loop, give that loop a twist. When you twist that loop, what it does is it flattens the bow down so it doesn't unravel uh, along the way. So that's just a little tip in it and um, I've always found it very, very useful to do that. Particularly if you've only got one design like I have with this black and white ribbon, it's only got the design on one side. So it's really important that you twist the loop so that you get that beautiful pattern showing in your bow. So to secure the bow, I just used some floral wire and I made a couple of twists at the back of the bow just to make it nice and tight so it wouldn't fall apart and uh, then clipped off the edges and tucked it into the bow. Once your bow is complete, I like to dovetail my edges. I think it gives it a nice polished finish and then you've got a beautiful fluffy bow. Of course, the secret to all bows, as any crafter will tell you, is to fluff, fluff, fluff. So make sure that you fluff out your bow. You'll see me playing with it for quite some time until you get it just so or just right the way you like it. Now, because the wooden round is um, nice flat, has a nice flat surface, I just use some hot glue to secure the bow to the top of the wooden round sign. And it stuck really well. It wasn't going to go anywhere. And then you'll see me fluffing that bow again, just to get it nice and ready for some floral decorations. Next, I wanted to use some nice, warm and inviting colours. 
It's a nice transition to Christmas as well, but um, I would call these fall colours, or in Australia we call them autumn colours. They're nice and warm. It's still quite cold here in Australia, so it's, uh, it's still timely to have these beautiful warm colours before I start decorating for summer with beautiful bright colours. Uh, obviously we have opposite seasons to, to my friends in the US, but I think this um, burnt orange gerbera is absolutely gorgeous in the centre of the bow and really, really gives it that colour pop that I was looking for as part of this welcome sign. Now I'm starting to secure the uh, cream roses uh, into the wooden sign. I'm just popping um, a little dab of hot glue just to keep it into place. And um, I'm using a range of different sizes of roses to give it a little bit of texture and dimension. And I think it's starting to really take shape. Next, I used some baby's breath in my stash and started to place and position the baby's breath all around the floral wreath. I use it to extend the arrangement as well as to extend the round in itself. The wispy, lightweight feel of it balances out the heaviness of the burlap and some of the heaviness that you see in the a green floral piece of this arrangement so the flower uh, sort of the leaves the green leaves I think these um, baby's breath or any type of florals that have got a wispy feel to it just give it a little bit more uh, texture and balance to your arrangement and of course make it look really romantic and elegant store-bought and very very high-end So to finish the floral arrangement, you're just going to use bits and pieces of whatever flowers or leaves that you have left in your floral arrangement and just put them wherever you feel you've got a gap or you've got an opening. And don't forget to fluff out your bow as well as the tails in your arrangement as well so that it's got a nice neat finish and it looks really high end. So to hang the wooden round, I just put two dabs of hot glue and a strip of the black and white ribbon which was part of the original design of this wooden round and just stuck it onto that glue. This structure is fairly lightweight, the wooden round isn't very heavy at all, so all I needed really was just hot glue and some of that ribbon. And there you have it, a beautiful wooden round with a gorgeous message of welcome home. I really want my family to feel warm and to feel welcome when they come home from a hard day's work. You can hang this round off any wall, any shelf, any shutter, really all throughout your home. I think it's absolutely stunning. I'm so pleased with it. I had so much fun making it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this DIY. Let me know in the comments what you think and whether you'll be recreating this design. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye.